Hello Blue Jays fans! Hope everybody's doing awesome out there, staying safe. If you haven't hit that like or subscribe, please do so. Still a new YouTuber in a lot of ways. Best way you can help somebody like me out is by smashing that like and subscribe. And I give away prizes to subscribers just to say thank you for watching. So you're going to get in on that. And I got one coming up next week. So you're definitely going to want to hit subscribe so you got a chance to win. And talking about winning, what is Toronto going to do this offseason to maybe finally win a playoff game? Yeah, not the joke there. It's actually kind of sad. And one of the issues in question is going to be second base for Toronto. And some reports have suggested Whit Merrifield coming back to Toronto. But if you saw Whit Merrifield's post at the end of the season, there was a little bit of animosity there. And a lot of things suggested he actually doesn't want to come back to Toronto. And rightly so. This guy was pushed out of the lineup at the end for a Kevin Biggio who kind of got a little bit hot and kind of dismissed all the effort that Witt had put towards the Jays and helping them out through the entire season. So yeah, this guy has every reason to be a little bit upset and certainly reason to think that he should sign somewhere else where he actually gets everyday playing time. Maybe a missed opportunity for Toronto, but there is opportunity to make up this void and it's not Kevin Biggio. I think there's going to be a player that gets signed very low, undervalued, just because he had one bad season, sort of like a gem in the rocks, and somebody that the Jays can sign not only for a one-year deal, but a multi-year deal, very low. And who am I talking about? Nobody else but shortstop Tim Anderson. That's right. He had a disastrous year over with the Sox, but that just means them declining his option of $14 million, which is silly, gives the Jays an opportunity. And Anderson has already said publicly he is happy to move over to second base and do exactly what Marcus Simeon did, have a rebound year or maybe sign a small year contract and hoping to get paid. And that's why there's opportunity for Toronto. And why? Well, let's look at his numbers. If you look at Tim Anderson, yeah, kind of an off season, but not horrible. The guy still hit 245 average, one home run, 25 ribbies. 13 stolen bases. Yeah, I know a minus two war, but look at his numbers at the four years prior to that. This is a guy who had a collective 318 average for those four years. Two-time All-Star, Silver Slugger, and in 2019 won the batting title with 335 average. This guy can hit. This guy definitely has speed. This guy has defense. He clicks off a lot of boxes, and just because he had one bum year, I don't know why teams are dismissing him. You know who else had a bum year over in Oakland? Marcus Simeon. Went and signed that one-year contract with the Jays, smashed over 40 home runs, and now is getting paid and a World Series champion over in Texas. And there's no reason why the Jays couldn't replicate some of the success with Tim Anderson. And more impressive with Tim Anderson, if he got him on a three-year deal, say three years, 36 million bucks, it gives the Jays some insurance next year, what I suspect they should trade away, gulp, Bo Bichette. And Tim Anderson could actually slide over to shortstop and fill that void. That's why there's a lot of like about him. He's still 30 years old, so not necessarily young, but certainly not necessarily old. That's a tremendous amount of upside here. So come on, Toronto, get this deal done. Three years, 36 million bucks. Pencil this guy in at second base with Kevin Biggio, and you got one of your biggest voids of the season completed. Yes, other teams are definitely going to be in on Anderson, including the Marlins, Mariners, A's, Tampa Bay, and Boston. So yeah, Toronto, just like I said with Jordan Hicks, let's get aggressive on this guy. Let's get him signed. Three years, 36 million bucks. Tim Anderson, second base for Toronto. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always appreciate to hear what you have to say. Hit that like and subscribe. And more importantly, I hope everybody stays safe until we ramble on again. Take care, guys.